there YouTubers. Uh, I'm working on the tank, gas tank here for my car. I was getting some spitting and sputtering and what ended up being was that my fuel filter was clogged and my fuel filter was clogged because uh, someone left a bunch of gas in the tank and it uh, is just pure rust in here. Um, I've already treated it once before but there's just still more stuff coming out. You can see over here in the grass um, where I rinsed it once, just a quick rinse and it still has garbage. So what I'm going to do is I've read online that if you do uh, one, one to one uh, white vinegar distilled water um, and then let it soak for anywhere from 5 to 12 hours that all of the rust uh, lifts off. You can even see here where I just dumped it out and already the rust uh, just powderizing. Um, and so that's the plan here. Hopefully you can see all of the rust that's in there. And, uh, to show you what it looks like afterwards. All right, stay tuned. All right, so I just want to take a quick video of it being full so you can see what it looks like. It's kind of hard to see. You can see some sediments already starting to come up and uh, we're just gonna keep an eye on it and see what happens. Come back in a few hours. All right, YouTube, um, just finished my tank cleaning using the vinegar method. And uh, so what happened was is I, I soaked six gallons at two bucks a piece, 12 bucks worth of vinegar, and uh, six bucks worth of distilled water, distilled, not drinking water. Um, so it was about $18 plus tax. And poured it in here, let it sit overnight, sat for like 12 hours, came back, and the rust was still sitting there, but with a little agitation, it came off. So I went over, and you can see I hosed off quite a bit um, into there. For spent an hour trying to do that, strapped a, my sander to it and tried to shake the tank. Um, just nothing would really agitate it very good. The hose worked pretty good, but didn't take all of it off. And so I just went down to the gas station and used the pressure washer in the self-service car wash and that seemed to take care of the rest of it so here's the after and you can see it's night and day difference so um, if you're gonna do something like this this is I would say the way to do it the, the $20 gas tank restore um, you might not have all of the uh, all of the tools to tumble um, and you can see here you just can't get the top um, hopefully it's not something that's going to fall in, but after go through a couple fuel filters, you can, you know, what it's like. Uh, let's see here, focus a little. I mean, it's pretty nice. It's starting to flash rust. It was sparkly clean, and now it's getting a little flash rust. Um, you know, some of the nicer areas really came out pretty good. So it's, uh, it's real difficult to get it all off in there, especially if you don't have a camera when you're pressure washing that's waterproof. So, but... All in all, I'd say $20 well spent, and I think this gas tank will keep running rather than spending 100 bucks on a new tank. All right, so long. Here's one last little tip. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry the tank out using my wife's hair dryer. thought about using the shop vac, but I just think I'm just going to use the hair dryer, and that way I can just leave it unattended, and it's got a little heat to it. Uh, my heat gun's too hot, my shop vac's too cold, and my leaf blower runs on gas power, so I'm not going to use any of those. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bottle of sea foam and just pour it in there and then shake it all up and try and coat all the surfaces. Sea foam has a, um, an oil inside it that's helped to preserve and to break down corrosion. So I'm going to do that first and then I'll remount it. Uh, I wish I took a picture of the sending unit because it was literally caked in rust. And it's starting to re-rust again a little bit, but uh, it, it looked ridiculous and night and day difference and you can even see maybe on this bar some of the some of the rust that was on it so feel real good about this project